Hello there, and welcome to the combat mission Battle for Normandy. I'm your host, Pipu Juchu, and today we're doing a bit of a discussion video on Battlefront's uh, recently released uh, development plans for the series, and well, I'm more or less just going to kind of recap what they've said so far, comment a little bit about, uh, you know, what I think about uh, their plans moving into their future, and well, we'll keep this, uh, we're, we'll, we'll try to keep this short and keep it like that. So, starting off, I mean, Battlefront, uh, the, the developer for the combat mission line of games here, they're, they're usually not known for saving uh, a lot of stuff about what they're doing in development, and they're, they're often, uh, when all, you know, where I'd, I'd say that they, they'd rather kind of finish the pre-game, or uh, finish the, the the framework for the game and release kind of announcement polishing the game up and releasing it kind of from there so it is a bit of a, a rare thing that we're seeing more kind of uh, transparency in that area and I think that's a good move forwards in kind of increasing the uh, the the audience space for the game and just in general giving uh, people within the community more more stuff to build upon which is really really nice so um, talking about the the series and how the games are kind of organized, because this is fairly important uh, going into what they plan on, rele on releasing, kind of starting off from Battle for Normandy here and moving into their titles, which would be uh, Battle for Normandy here, obviously being a, a, a Western Front, you know, Normandy uh, game, with the exception that it has a module for, for, for Market Garden, which would obviously be, be you know, Holland area. Um, moving from there, they have, a, they have the... Fortress Italy game released sometime later, which is, as the as the title implies, a an Mediterranean Italian theater game. And moving from there, they have a World War Two Eastern Front game with Run. Red Thunder, and I'm kind of going uh, a little bit f uh, forwards in time. They have Combat Mission Black Sea, another uh, well, you know, Eastern Euro Europe game um, set in modern time uh, between, uh, if loosely, Ukraine and NATO against, uh, well, you know, the Russians there. So uh, how these games are structured out is that each and every single one of these games uh, happen at a different, you know, place in different time, if you will, in to you know, to roughly in some respect there, um, going. In one step lower into that, they've released uh, modules for these games. These are largely content uh, expansions. For example, for Battle for Normandy here, um, they've released a Commonwealth expansion featuring Commonwealth units, so you know British uh, units there, and the uh, the associated scenarios that utilize them. Uh, with the exception of Battle for Normandy, which has a Market Garden expansion, which is I would say you know semi out of place, but in 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 the grand scheme of things, it's close enough, right? Um, more or less, these are kind of extensions in time. Or extensions and kind of uh, what forces you get. So uh, we've already covered com the Commonwealth pack. Uh, taking a look at Fortress Italy, the base game was actually focused on si uh, on Sicily, and afterwards they've kind of released the first module, bringing the uh, the fight onto mainland in Italy. And kind of um, I would imagine that fall that future expansions or you know future modules kind of go from there. So uh, moving into the future looking stuff, uh, what they plan on doing uh, in, in, in the near future is releasing two things. They're releasing a full uh, game, um, the Battle of the Bulge uh, as, a, as a full game, if you will. And that one features American German units uh, with a new kind of uh, table of equipment. So what I'm excited to see are, are some new uh, infantry units and say, for example, the form of uh, Volksgrenadier units and also some heavier and lighter vehicles. And they specifically mentioned, say, having the I like to say things like the Yacht Tiger and the, and the M24 Chaffee in there as well. So it's quite neat. Um, I, I have my doubts about this, say, being a full release rather than kind of continuing off with modules and kind of making this a, a module for Battle for Normandy here, much like the market garden expansion but i i assume that they kind of have their own reasons for this uh but at the same time i'm a little cautious about that you know kind of seeing how how a full release would impact that because to me a full release uh covering kind of just what we've uh, we've we've just said would imply that they they would have modules for it and you know either the game is really content packed or uh they they have some sort of odd module scheduling with that so i can't I, yeah i, I can't can't necessarily say what I expect from that, but nevertheless, I think it'll be interesting, especially with uh, winterized combat, which we may or may not see uh, some special things being present, uh, seeing as how they are working on an engine upgrade as well, which, uh, well, would likely include, I, were, I would hope, some new changes to, uh, well, gameplay mechanics or things like that. So, 
Uh, going kind of, I would say, somewhere in between the release of Battle of the Bulge, uh, between now, then, and slightly future from that, uh, they wanted to release a battle pack, a collection of uh, quote-unquote, or quote-unquote here, which is a collection of campaigns and or scenarios designed to extend existing game content. So this is a pretty good i I would say that this is a a move that i I wholeheartedly recommend here and what these battle packs mean is that i mean what battlefront considers them to be is that say for example when when a game is finished um with all of its modules and kind of all of its content complete what they want to do is then kind of augment these games with existing you know high quality content people from if you will professional scenario designers and things like that and really kind of giving more content for the game uh so that's it and all i mean they they say that were one of the things that they are they're making note of is that uh they wanted something to tie in all the different module content and all the different content kind of present in the game in the sense that you know for the purposes of kind of controlling ver- your version controls inside the game kind of um making sure that people are able to kind of you know play the game either on itself or with this module and that module or that module uh what they've kind of done here is that they've they've elected to kind of release one thing to to give people who want the experience of kind of tying all of those um if you will, supposedly independent modules, but of course, I mean, a fan of the series would likely have them all uh, into a single, uh, well, you know, thing, if you will, for, for for you to use there. So that is quite a nice move, and I think that's a, a good move forward. Um, I have a few concerns here in the sense that I really wonder how much this battle pack will cost uh, versus kind of how much content it will be covering. So... And that that said, um, if it's it, I, if if this is something that's fairly cheap and something that's kind of released on an ongoing basis, I would I would I would be very enthusiastic about this. But if it's something you know kind of pricey, something in the twenty five to thirty five range, then I think they they would definitely need uh, like a lot of content to kind of justify it early on. And uh, well, to kind of get into that, you know, how do you how do you do ch- cheaper, if you will, more more substantial releases? Uh, you know, I honestly wouldn't mind it if uh, they they kind of open this up to the community as a as a type of thing, like invite or have m- people who have made scenarios and have released them, because there's a fair amount of people who do that. Although I I, I in my or I'm under the impression that it's actually growing a little bit thinner, just simply because of uh, the amount of games that they've released and just kind of because people have to cover all of those and just in general i mean not uh if you if you take the same population you spread them over four games i mean that's it, it gets thinner right um they 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 stressed that they want to say higher quality content while there's a lot of good say modded content out in the uh, out in the game there's you know there's always that difference between something that's actually supported by 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 the publisher versus kind of modded content and i think that's going something that they're going for but at the same time i you know i wouldn't mind open this uh, opening this up to the community um doing some sort of uh if you will crowdsourcing uh, monetization things such as Valve is doing with uh, some of their stores and going from there because I see that being uh, you know a really promising way kind of as uh, in in one sense rewarding the community and in a second sense rewarding people for making mods and making uh, scenarios and things like that as well. So um, going from there, so Battle of the Bulge Battle Pack, that's kind of you know near term is how they put it. Near term, they they have it really defined. So I would imagine likely under a year to a year and a half. But moving from there, they plan on releasing a module for a combat mission Fortress Italy, which uh, would cover the Gothic line, and uh, that uh, will introduce some new forces, namely uh, the the, well, the Waffen SS formations and some Commonwealth units from uh, you know kind of bring you know reusing the assets uh from combat mission battle for normandy here and bring them into um the 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 mediterranean italian theater there which i think is a nice move you know come to think of it i I didn't actually notice them being missing i'm pretty sure they are actually in the game but they weren't i don't know maybe perhaps all too utilized yeah i'm pretty sure they are inside the game so um i don't know i don't know i think we'll see uh kind of what we have there perhaps still kind of well you know they, they would definitely have to scale back the uh the the term the, the tables of equipment so that'll be fairly interesting to see
Then, um, moving forwards from uh, combat mission for Chisili, they plan on working on a module for Red Thunder. Um, they're they're a little you know hazy on on this part, but uh, they're they're thinking about winter combat and the inclusion of some um, some Waffen SS and Luftwaffe forces not seen in Red Thunder. So that'll also be fairly interesting. And then following that, they want to update uh, the Black Sea game with you know some more content. And uh, lastly, they've talked about this. Uh, 4.0 engine upgrade so in the past i mean uh they've in, in reality i mean it's a pretty big version change but in reality it's more or less one or two um main game major game overhauls and i'd like to, I'd, I'd, I'd like to see what they are what they're doing for that um they've said that they are uh, they're looking into you know kind of community suggestions they're looking into what has that and well i think that's a, you know, uh, firstly a move forwards and but at the same time, with with so many different engine upgrades, I kind of wonder what they're gonna have or how they're going to handle that. And lastly, they're upgrading the website and just in general, kind of the infrastructure for 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 the site and kind of how they handle mods and things like that. So overall, that is quite a promising line of releases. Though uh, a couple of small things, of kind of moving into module packs. I'm actually I I would like to see that uh, the module packs for Red Thunder and um, Black Sea being slightly cheaper on the scale of things, more or less because of the fact that, honestly, kind of the full releases for those two titles, I thought, or were definitely a little bit shorter uh, on the end of, you know, how much content you're getting for per buck uh, in comparison to, uh, for example, Fortress Italy or uh, Battle for Normandy here. But nevertheless, I mean, I'd like to see what they do. Um, I think it, uh, well, yeah, the, the amount of stuff that they're releasing definitely has uh, a lot of potential and and overall, I'm very excited to see what they'll do for that upgrade pack, and uh, also kind of how much uh, content they're 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 going to put inside the first battle pack. So I hope this has been an informative video. You can check uh, you where you can get some more information on their forums, of course. Um, I'll see you guys next time.